Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our adventures in Final Fantasy 16, the Let's Play Adventure extravaganza of awesomeness and fun times to be had here in the wonderful world of Final Fantasy 16. What an intro. What an absolutely loaded intro. Let's try to bring that back in. Let's rein that back in to a plane of re reasonability. And we've got a couple of different things going on here when we left off. We actually have over in the corner, Homecoming, Fulfill Martha's Request, as well as A Bearer's Lot, Make for the Glademund Abbey. And I think those are like the same thing, basically. I think those are more or less like a two-in-one situation where if we go over here, we're basically completing both. Or I'm wrong, there maybe a bearer's lot is work. part of Homecoming. Yeah, maybe it's like a sub-quest and Homecoming is the main quest. And in order to progress the main quest, we have to continue the sub-quest. Of course, if that's the case, then what I said is technically true. And we do have to go over here to do both. We've already spoken to this individual, I believe, last time. I think we stocked up on all of our potions and everything. Hey, we can have hey. another stop in. To see what else they've got. A couple of blades. We're good there. Good here. Good, good everywhere. I think we're, what we have is better than... Oh, that's right. They have the Founder's Footsteps orchestration roll. Well. Yeah, no, get out of here. Like, I got 20,000 gil to drop on music. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I suppose if I wanted to 100% the game, which I'm not super gung-ho about at the moment, but if I wanted to, I'd probably have to do that. Is this what I need to do? What is this? Has this been here this whole time? Is this like an elevator? Why did we not ride this before? This is incredible. See, I thought we were going to go across that bridge I earlier. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Yeah, so that's a continuation of the conversation we overheard inside of the pub right at the end of the last episode, where Mother gave birth to a bearer and just ditched it with the, the local watch or what have you, out of just shame and embarrassment over the fact that their child was not, I guess, up to scratch for them. I, very disappointing stuff to hear. But then again, no one ever said this was a, a pleasant empire. Uh, then again, I suppose it's only like a... What, what is it, like a protectorate of the Empire or whatever? It's, it was the former duchy. duchy? I'm, the, the story, listen, the problem with this game is that I'm not playing it frequently enough. Okay, once or twice a week is not enough to keep up with all the deep lore. And I'm, I'm thinking I might need to just focus all of my efforts on watching this or playing this exclusively until we beat the game so I know what's going on. I mean, I know what's going on. This is the former duchy. Our father ruled it. He got killed by the bad guys and then our brother was killed by us and we're ifrit now i mean sure maybe the details are a bit lost on the situation but i mean that's the big broader strokes also didn't we go get that guy to fix that bridge what was broken earlier why are we not going that direction or should we be going that direction maybe we need to have a look at the map i'm actually a little bit confused on that also a lot of these crabs are not interested in me at all i've noticed like, that one right there is just like, he doesn't even care that I exist. Is that a toidle? Look at the size of that thing! It's downright ridiculous looking. Oh my gosh, no, I'll fight you. Come here, you. It's huge! Big ol' snapping toward eye. Oh, he does like a little Mario spin! He's a gosh darn Koopa, this guy! Please don't attack me. I'm begging you. Hey, we've actually done pretty good so far in terms of combat. I feel like this has been our best combat experience yet. Granted, we are fighting actual, like, literal animals. And they're not putting up the best fight. And we haven't really had, like, a great opportunity to test all of our, like, like blocking and dodging and all of that. Okay, well, there we go. There was the one opportunity. And I completely failed it. Come here, you. There we are. And then we do one of these bad boys. Which really just has him, like, lay down for a minute. He doesn't actually seem all that bothered when we do that. But once we do that, if we, like, really lay on some heavy attacks, it does a lot to... Oh, sir. Sir, really now? Precision dodge? That's how you gotta deal with the tortoise. Okay, see, I thought maybe I could parry there, but I just didn't hit the parry button. I just kept waiting for, like, the right moment, and I just never arrived. I gotta say, even though I haven't played this game in, like, a week... This is the first time we've come back to it where I don't feel like I've forgotten all of the uh, controls. 
and I have to get warmed up to it again, they're all still fresh in my mind. Not this time. Even though I have been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's not bleeding over. All, all my buttons are going to all the right places. No, my fingers are going to all the right buttons. Well, I mean, I guess what I said the first time was technically correct. By the way, there's absolutely zero reason for us to be out here fighting turtles right now. See, I thought, isn't this the bridge? What was down? I guess not. Maybe he's just now starting. That must be what it is. We brought him back and now he's working on the bridge. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. I know a thing or three. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That's way more effective. Way more effective than just swinging at the air. Is there any like genuine reason? to be fighting everything down here aside from like we're getting sharp fangs can i sell this stuff if i don't end up using all of the sharp fangs in crafting which i assume i'm not going to end up using all of these sharp fangs in crafting and whatever i get from fighting the big toidle i'm assuming isn't going to be super useful to me in the broader world either so with that in mind like is there any actual reason for it aside from the xp gains which i'm assuming will be useful okay well i defeated another turtle Issue now is that we're very low on health, and I feel like we probably need to go get new more potions. Would you consider the amount of potions I've already eaten? I think we, we might not continue on the, our way to the final location. I think what we might end up doing is just going back to town and stocking up again. I don't think everything's going to respawn. Is this the kind of game where things respawn while you're still in the area, or is this one of those games where after you defeat everything, they only respawn when you come back to the level? I don't know. I have no clue. That's why I'm asking. I'm throwing the idea out there. Seeking for whom it may have info. It's strange. None of these things drop potions either. Gosh, that last po that last turtle really took up a lot of resources. What, what are we looking at here? I think what we can do is we can go around and then back up through here and we'll just go right back to the store. We'll get more potions. And if we come down here and everything is respawned... I'm just ignoring it all. I'm going to avoid it all and continue on my way. I do see chocobos over here, and that's fun and cute, but I don't know if I'm going to get to ride them. Something tells me probably not, which is unfortunate. These crabs are kind of useless. They're, they're not good at combat. That's satisfying when you get into the rhythm of that, though. That's really solid. See, these are beautiful chocobos. I like this colorful one over here in particular. If I was going to ride any of them around, I would want it to be this bluebird. I'm sorry, bluebird? So, like, not a chocobo. Oh no, they're they're hostile! I was not anticipating the chocobos being hostile. I did not want to fight them. This is not what I wanted today. I'm doing it because I feel like I'm obligated to. But I'm not happy about the ordeal. I'm not happy about it whatsoever. I really wanted to just catch one. Don't kick her! That's extremely rude. She's very polite. She's very kind. She could turn into an ice goddess thing. You don't want to mess with her, alright? You ever seen a cold bird? No, they have to fly south for the winter. Specifically because they don't like ice goddesses. Something like that, maybe? Oh, man. We're so close to the destination. Maybe we won't go back and get more potions. Maybe we'll just go and hope that the three we've got on us right now are going to be enough. You know, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Would we get overpowered by, like, a bunch of chocobos or something? I mean, that could happen, I suppose. That would put... If I had to rank them, I'd say... The little scorpion was probably the least painful, followed by bees, wasps, and then full-grown scorpions. And then that's my official ranking. And then one time, a praying mantis did something to me, but I've never been able to figure out what. Because I look it up, and I don't. I, all I know is that like it, it got me, and and it was frightening. And I, I don't know exactly because I don't, don't think they don't, they don't bite you. I don't know if they like grab me with his little hands or whatever. But I leaned back and I almost squished him, so he like got my hand. I looked down and I was like, I'm sorry. That's a zero out of ten on the pain skill. It didn't really hurt. It was more so just like a, hey, be careful there, buddy. But he couldn't verbalize it because he's an insect, so he did so by just, again, doing something. Some type of attack on my body. Just to like communicate that he was there and he didn't want to be squished. And I respect that a lot, you know? So he survived, I survived. And I have this fun story where I try to explain to people, like, no, he did something to me. And they're like, Reese, what are you talking about? A praying mantis isn't going to hurt you. I'm like, he communicated using pain that I was going to squish him, and I don't know how. Maybe I need to look into it. Did I die or did I defeat him? He was almost dead, and I died. Yeah, restart from the nearest obelisk, I guess. Is it going to re reload my save data? Are all of these guys going to be back? I'm just trying to get warmed up into the combat again, and I'm talking about my experience with wasps. 
Oh good, we're back in town now. Fantastic. Well, that's good, because now we can go back to the little shop fella. And we can stock up on supplies again, wherever he was. Was he not, like, right around this corner? Genuinely, I don't know where I am relative to anything right now. I don't want to check the mini-map. I think the, the sh trader man is up here. So we'll go speak to him and we'll get resupplied. Yeah, there you are. Hey, fella. Let's see whether or not... Because I, I don't think it reloaded our save or anything. Oh, no, it did. No, it did. I've got all of my potions again. Care, okay. okay. So does that mean that everything I fought just now, it doesn't actually... It wasn't actually fought? It's still out there? Do I have to go fight it all again? Is that what that means? That's unfortunate, if that's the case. I don't want to do that. What about my levels? I didn't pay attention to what my level was going down there. Maybe we should take a note of that and we can, like, tell in the future. So right now, Clive is level 21. You know what? We haven't looked at... Oh. Oh. Pet attributes. Can I do something about that? I actually don't know. I have no idea. Uh, what was I going to... Gear? Okay, here we go. Abilities. We've not looked at this in a long time. We have 1,500 abilities. Uh, points. Not a, we, don't, we don't have 1,500 abilities. Obviously, that would be a silly thing to declare. But we can do some upgrades here if we wanted to. So, perform a rising attack, striking all enemies within range, and lifting them from the ground can be used in midair. That's fun, yeah. Send a grappling claw out to grab an enemy and pull it toward Clive. Have you, okay, so this just masters it. Does that mean that it does more damage? I think it's the same. Okay, yeah, so that's an upgrade, an upgrade, uh, and an upgrade. I think all of these are... These are all things that I have unlocked and I'm currently using. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame. Yeah, no, that one's a ton of fun. What is this down here? Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down... Yeah, I want that, but I don't have enough. But I almost have enough. See, I feel like maybe we should just wait a little bit until we can get that. Because that sounds like it's going to be awesome. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies and, upon ensnaring them, inflicts multiple hits. That seems like it's going to be worth having, and it's going to be worth more than just upgrading some ability we've already got. Even though a lot of these are great. Do I have this one? Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. I must have that one. Maybe I just don't have it equipped. So I've got Wicked Wheel and I've got Gouge. Wicked Wheel is fun and all, but like... What if we replaced it? With Rook's Gambit. Jump back and deliver a punishing counter. If the enemy evades an attack, counter potency is increased, can be used in midair. Now, nah, we'll just keep what we've got. We're going to go keep fighting little creatures, though, until we get 1540, and then we're going to go buy the Tornado of Winds and Death and whatnot. Uh, so, this is the moment we find out if all the crabs are down here again. No, it looks like they're all dead. Okay, good. Everything stayed dead. Everything stayed dead, and I got all of my potions back. Dying was the best thing that could have happened to us, then. Because that means that everything's dead, and it stayed dead. Presumably, we got stuff... I don't know. If it gave me back all my potions, but also we don't get to keep any of the stuff we got from fighting all of these monsters, then that's pretty lousy. That's that's actually a, a bit of a downer, because we spent a lot of time fighting, and if I don't have a ton of, like, sharp claws... I mean, I would check, but I wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Like, if I check my, my, my sharp claw stash, I'd have no real way of knowing whether or not... We had no, more than back. what we started today's session with, because I don't know how many there were when we started. I have no clue. All I know is that this guy defeated me, and it cannot be left to stand. It, I have to defeat it now. It's a matter of honor. And also, I'm not going to let it get me this time. Okay, well, uh, after that, I wanted to give it one, just so it feels like it's a fair fight. And then after that, I'm not giving it anything. Like, no, 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 more, no more freebies for this guy. See, this is great. We're, we're doing much better now, as you can tell. I mean, once we get close to the guy and we actually start hitting him with our attacks, that's when we're really going to come into our own. I just don't have a whole lot to say right now. You know, it's just, I'm just I'm just getting my revenge here. Nothing big going on. Apparently there's some, like, insects and there's some, like, living plants trying to get involved in this fight. As if they have any right to be involved in this current endeavor. Listen, this is like a personal thing between me and the Bighorn here. I have to talk, Gilliam. It's a commentary track. That's what we're recording here. That's the whole idea. If I'm not talking, then what even is this? Man stares slightly open mouth at computer screen. That's what it would be. Honestly, that's what most of it is anyway, isn't it? Man keeps sticking tongue out. That's something I've noticed. 
<laughs> as I've been recording these, anytime I get really into a combat encounter, and I kind of stop talking because I'm focusing all of my energy, I'll start to go like... Like, my tongue coming out for some reason is making me play better? I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Is there anything up here? We'll be going this way later, perhaps. Or maybe we came this way and I just don't remember. All right, we've wasted enough time in this field. And I say wasted. We've invested enough time in this field. But <laughs> never mind, I found some spiders we're going to fight first. I was going to say, let's just head to the Abbey and actually do the darn quest. But I got to fight these guys first. That's actually priority number one. We, we, I cannot suffer these spiders to live. Barely a time investment. That was just a warm up for whatever's waiting us in the Abbey. I'm assuming it's just going to be nice, pleasant things, right? This looks like a lovely little area. I mean, yeah, it's surrounded by monsters, but surely it's just going to be full of like really kind and loving people and delicious warm food and soft, comfortable beds. I've forgotten why we came here, but uh, the game will remind me. Good day to you. Abbot, where's I'm Costello? The is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. I see. Then please, follow me. Martha's the barkeep. I remember that. And she's like, keeps the tavern and all that. So that much, I'm... I'm there. I'm there on that. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I'll beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. Curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Did we know this? There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. Well, this is horrific. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed.
We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Well, that is certainly information that we did not have before, I don't think. I did not understand that bearers, when forced to use their abilities, would slowly turn to stone. That is... That is fresh new hell delivered upon us. Hello there. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. Mm. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Thanks, dear, for the further information. Appreciate it. Gonna have a little run around your uh, your abbey here now. And <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. I assumed that somewhere around here they would have treasure worth just, just pillaging. I mean, is it the property of the church? Maybe. But they're clearly not using it. If they're storing it in a wooden box in the back, it's not important to them. And they clearly don't value the gifts they've been given. So we're going to take those and we're going to put them to better use. And while we're in the area, we'll get rid of these death blossoms. Because nothing is going to be more detrimental to a bunch of uh, healing efforts than killer plants attempting to, you know, kill everyone in their sleep. I don't know if they actually do that. To be fair, normally we're the aggressors when it comes to these plants. So it's kind of hard to declare without question that they're the bad guys when I'm constantly attacking them, but I don't know. I'm just assuming that's the case. Do you think there's anything else out here to kill that we might have missed at this point? I feel like they've, we've been pretty thorough in our investigation. I do see some crabs over here, though. So maybe we go ahead and take care of them, and then we'll head back. I don't want to leave any crabs behind. Are we at any point going to be allowed to ride on a chocobo? Because I keep seeing them all over the place. You fight them in the wild. I would love to actually just ride a chocobo around. I think that would be a good time. Chocobo back, like, combat? Are you kidding me? You just charge someone down? You're given, like, a feathery stick you can just bash people over the head with? I don't know why it needs to be feathery. Just because you're on a chocobo, there, there's nothing necessitates that you fight with chocobo-adorned weapons. I'm just thinking it might be fun if you had a sword that was, you know, like, tarred and then dipped in chocobo feathers. Maybe you could do that with, like, your entire armor, and then you just look like a grotesquely large chocobo with two extra arms flailing around and weird pointy sword ah, hands. you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, haven't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Cool, we got another membership card. That you will Sam's Club, here we come. Here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Is this game at some point going to lead to us reclaiming our kingdom or our duchy or whatever it's called? Is, is that where this is going? I hope that's not the finale. I hope that happens early on. Because at the end of the game, we're going to fight God or something like that. That's normally how these games end. 
or or DFS uh, Destiny or Fate or something. Just based on my experience with Final Fantasy games, that's generally where they eventually end up. Brother! Sid. You brought chocobos! Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, yeah. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Ta-ra, then. Ta-ra, indeed. Holding on. So, make for Eastpool. Which I reckon we will do right now. Because now that I think about it, we spent most of this episode just fighting creatures in the swamp. So, all right. So it looks like the bridge heading out for East Pool is now open. And our next destination is, well, that's actually a side quest. Beat against beast. And it actually says beast against beast. Because I can actually read, and that's what that says. I'm not... Oh, but there's actually side quests to do around here as well. Well, hey, maybe instead of heading out of town, we just see what's going on. Maybe this person will give us their chocobo we if we help them. The Imperials do. Who are you looking for? Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? How'd you know that? Arthur told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. How'd she know that? You look like you're in a hurry. 
Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? Mm. And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Can I take the chocobo? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just Ronald. This one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. I disagree. You want some it done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Why don't we let Ronald Someone's go out as well? Norris heading for the fallen gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. And then maybe we could arrange for an accident to happen to Ronald. We'll go ahead and prioritize this quest. I want to help this guy. I'm just saying it wouldn't hurt to have Ronald also out on the field. His own hands. Okay, Very so... Very difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? What if we also have a conversation with this guy before we go down there? And then we'll just know what he wants, and if it happens to be in the Here same direction, we'll take care of them both in one go. For Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Oh, okay. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I understand. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one as well. And we'll actually prioritize this one, because I think we can probably do these in like a one-two order, where we shimmy down the ladder, we get his stuff, and then we continue along to do the other quest, and then we, we knock them both out on our way back in. What's that over there? Is that the actual, like, capital city? It seems like it's a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. Why are we not just heading there now? I understand that we've got a whole lot of other things going on. I'm just thinking, like, it would be nice to go back and reclaim my empire. It's not my empire. It's the duchy. I'm going to go reclaim the duchy in the name of Clive. Yeah, this is perfect. After we grab that, we'll run back around the front way, and we'll end up up there. See, this is called efficiency is what this is. It's a finishy economy of motion, Penny. That's what this is all about. Come here, big guy. I've heard of crabs eating crystal. Crabs do crazy things, man. You can't really understand them. They're beyond human understanding. That was like a tough crab to beat as well. I feel like most of the crabs we fought today have not been that difficult. These crabs are of an advanced level. Hey, after this fight, we need to check and see whether or not we've gotten enough uh, upgrade points to get the whirling war whirlwind of death or whatever it's called. Because I'm really interested in that. Well, okay. Yeah, there we go. Apparently there's a, a, a space limit on that one. It's over. This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. I'm with you on that. There's no point in staying down here other than the fact that I think we can stay down here and meander our way back around to the other side of this bridge. Possibly. 
Maybe I'm completely wrong on that, but yeah, there's like a bridge right over there. Okay, this is perfect. We'll grab whatever this is. Nice three sharp fangs. And then we'll just double back up on this side. Of course, this is not going to be the end of the second quest, is it? Because what are the likelihood that the bear went for a run to escape town and persecution and all that, and then ended his escape like 20 feet away, just like right here on this bridge? There's no shot this is going to be the guy. This is just us asking if anyone's seen him, like this guy right here. Off-duty sellsword? How you doing? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Okay, so this isn't going to be as efficient as I had originally hoped it would be. We're, we are going to go ahead and return this to this guy. Because he said he's got to chill his fish. And when he first said that, I thought he meant that he had some weird exotic fish that he needed to keep at a certain temperature. But no, they're dead fish and he just needs to chill them on the way to the market. Which makes way more sense, but I still like the idea of having... Like, ye old exotic fish tank that you use magic to keep well, chilled. any luck? Yours, I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Yeah. I prefer the idea of, like, Arctic clownfish. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Have you ever heard of a heat pump? We're about to revolutionize this, this entire landscape. So that's one mission down. Now we're heading back out into the bogs. We had a lot of fun in the bogs, I believe, in the last episode. Running around, fighting a bunch of mosquitoes and weird scorpion crab things. It was a wonderful experience. I'm looking forward to doing it all again, except maybe this time I don't fight everything that crawls. Maybe this time we just kind of mosey on through and specifically focus on our goal. You and go far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, no, look, I'm definitely keeping my eyes wide open for any sign of him. Like, what is this blue thing on the ground here? Is this an indication that there wants to be a man passing through? It's five gil. Oh, baby, go back. Oh, come down. Okay, so he didn't make it far with the lamp, I see. But why would he have dropped the lamp? A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. He's clearly hanging out in the old ruins. Or he got dragged off by one of the cra- Or he got eaten! He could have gotten eaten by the killer plants. I wonder but if that someone was Norris. Did I, did I, what, did I kill these guys? Or are these guys just hanging out here dead already? Is that Norris? I think we found him. Boy, that was a pretty straightforward quest. He's just hanging out here by the water. Sup, dude? Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close. I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. 
I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Ooh. But we've got a cunning plan. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. That is truly depressing. Yes, it is. Also, he is not surviving down here. We're absolutely going to go turn in this lantern and say, Look, we found it. This is all that remains of him. He did got eaten by the mud crabs. And they're going to go, Oh, no. And then someone's going to come down here to actually find him and smuggle him back up to Martha. And they're going to be like, Yeah, all we found was a corpse. Because he did actually get eaten by mud crabs because you That's abandoned him in an right. area you knew was infected with mud crabs. There was goblins there before. If we if we had not cleared out those I mean I might be confusing that with a different house down there, but I'm pretty sure there was like foul monsters in that area. If we hadn't cleared them out in the last would they just not be there now? Or would they also be would he be dead now if we hadn't gone down there and cleared out all the monsters? I actually don't know, I have no clue. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts on the issue. Found his lantern though, he's definitely dead, wink wink nod nudge. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? You're an unpleasant human being, and I don't like you. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Sharp fangs? It's gonna be sharp fangs. Pretty confident about this. No! Darn it, it's just ash and a meteorite. Well, I don't think I was in the wrong to expect sharp th things. That tends to be what you get around here. Okay. I think now the time has come to head out of town along the open bridge. There's one other quest we're going to hit up right over here. And then we're going to continue on to the Broken Hilt. Next time. Thank you folks for tuning in. God bless you and I'll see you later. Goodbye.